Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Washington nails undocumented migrant horde 17.8 billion dollars obstacle approved. The House Appropriations Committee has recently approved the budget for the 2019 fiscal year. The budget is currently getting mixed reviews even from some on the right. Of significant concern is the White House's mid-year budget projections forecasting the current federal deficit to surpass $1 trillion. In an annual budget review, the White House's Office of Management and Budget OMB, estimated that new legislation enacted since the release of its February budget, alongside new projections on other spending and receipts, would add $101 billion more to the 2019 deficit, pushing it above $1 trillion. That figure is estimated at about 5.1 percent of the United States' gross domestic product, the nation's total economic output. Senator Mike Lee, UTR, states of his desire for a balanced budget, the American people want a balanced budget. They want Congress to stop this barbaric practice of perpetual deficit spending. It really, if you think about it, is a form of taxation without representation. We fought a war over that issue and we won that war. Senator Rand Paul, KYR, echoes that sentiment and calls out hypocrisy, stating, if you were against President Obama's deficits, and now you're for the Republican deficits, isn't that the very definition of hypocrisy? Paul went on to say, I think if you're for tax cuts and for increasing spending that's hypocritical. But if you're for tax cuts and you're also for cutting spending a corresponding amount, see, I would offset the tax cuts with spending cuts, and there are a few of us that would actually do that. I'm still against deficit spending just because Republicans are doing it doesn't make it any better. Yet it is clear balance is needed to achieve what is necessary for the United States to function and there are issues that need to be addressed. Of note in addressing current significant concerns with regards to securing the U.S.-Mexico border, the budget provides $5 billion for a southern border wall. It also provides additional funding for border security whose purpose is to achieve 100 percent scanning of the border within the next five years. The Washington Examiner reports, the Homeland Security Appropriations Subcommittee measure would fund more than 200 miles of new physical barrier construction along the U.S.-Mexico border. The legislation also includes $223 million to add 375 additional Border Patrol agents above the Trump administration request, including 140 K-9 teams, that, according to the House Appropriations Committee, will initiate a five-year strategy toward achieving 100 percent scanning on the southern border. The measure increases the budget for immigration and customs enforcement by $328 million over fiscal 2018. Of that new funding, $78 million is allotted for the hiring of 400 additional ICE agents and support staff. The fiscal 2018 spending measure allocated just $1.6 billion for border security. Though it is important to note that when Congress approved the $1.6 billion back in March for border fencing it added so many conditions and additional spending priorities, in reality, the bill only funded roughly 50 miles of new border fence. This is a significant step up. In a statement from Rep. Kevin Yoder, KSR, this bill provides the resources to begin building a wall along our southern border, enhance our existing border security infrastructure, hire more border patrol agents, and fund detention operations. Yoder is the current chair of the Homeland Security Panel of the House Appropriations Committee. According to Breitbart, the bill is expected to pass the House but be blocked in the Senate, where the 49 Democrats can block any legislation until the GOP's leadership meets some of their demands. So far, Senate Democrats have bitterly opposed President Donald Trump's immigration programs and reforms, especially his plan to build a border wall. The Senate bill, announced June 19, provides $1.6 billion to build only 65 miles of fencing in the Rio Grande Valley. Democrats are also being pushed by their left to block funding for domestic enforcement of the immigration laws, even though the Abolish ICE goal is very unpopular. The House bill includes $5.5 billion in an account for building the wall, but also for buying various boats and aircraft, so it is not clear how much can be spent on the wall. The House bill funds a small increase in detention beds, up to 44,000 and allows for the hiring of just 400 new ICE officers. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.